more than a pocket knife, Leatherman is the first multi-tool ever made. You'll be hard pressed to think of a job this tool can't do. For a while, we were keeping a list of all of the uses for a Leatherman tool, and I think we stopped at a couple thousand. And some uses you hope you never have a need for. We've gotten a couple stories of Leatherman stopping bullets. Ultra durable, compact, and, well, handy. Leatherman tool owners know that their tool will take a lot of abuse, and it'll still come back to work tomorrow. With a name like Leatherman, you've got to be good. I want to make each one perfect because my name is on every tool. Made in Oregon, Leatherman tools are sold in over 70 countries around the world. The Wave came out in 1996. It was the first Leatherman to have blades that could be accessed without opening the handles. It immediately became Leatherman's bestseller, and to this day is still Leatherman's bestseller. The company goes through over 1,000 tons of American steel per year, more than four times the weight of the Statue of Liberty. Each individual piece, from the saw to the scissors, is made separately with precision engineering and then assembled into the handles. The handles are made first. You can take a flat sheet of steel and you can produce 1,200 handles an hour. The steel is hardened through heat treating, then it's polished and made ready for assembly. They'll get the spring riveted in, the latch inserted, they'll go to assembly. The Wave has 17 tools, including screwdrivers, a saw, and multi-purpose pliers. It was the need for pliers that inspired the original multi-tool. Tim Leatherman and his wife went on a whirlwind trip of Europe in 1975, and they were going completely budget. They bought an unreliable used car that constantly needed repairing, and Tim's pocket knife just wasn't cutting it. I was carrying a pocket knife, which was fine for slicing bread for dinner, but I often needed a pair of pliers. Back at home, Tim spent years perfecting the tool. In 1983, he and his friend Steve Berliner founded the Leatherman Tool Company. By the end of their first full year of production, they had sold almost 30,000 multi-tools. You cannot believe how happy I was, finally, after eight years to get a sale. Today, Leatherman makes over 15,000 tools a day, including their best-selling Wave. Most of the components of the Wave are made using a similar process to the handles. They're going to get stamped out, they'll go out to heat treat. After heat treating, the tools are tumbled with ceramic beads to polish them and remove any burrs. Bead blasting is just pulverizing the surface of the parts, essentially, just to give them a nice smooth matte finish. After bead blasting, the tools go to a finish area where they're sharpened and finessed. Then they'll get a variety of different processes. The blade is ground using a double disc grinder. The saw goes through side grinding to get a tapered edge. And the scissors are made in two halves and then ground to the right thickness. We would load a part similar to this, and then it, the machine will grab it, load it into the carrier, grind it towards the grinding wheel, and then the end result would be a half of the scissor. This multi-tool's durability and quality are why it's in so many pockets. I have like seven Leathermans. <laughs> A taper lock is the way the tool locks into place when it's being used. Basically when they flip out so that they will engage with the handle, so that they will be held in place tightly without any wiggle. The taper lock process will give all the components the proper dimensions to fit tight and lock into place. This is a taper lock process. Now the individual components are complete, except for the main feature, the pliers. The jaws of the pliers are cast and formed into the right shape using coining. Coining is kind of like the punch presses, basically just exerting a lot of force on them just to form them to the shape that we want them. The tips of the jaws need to be bent so that they will be able to grip properly. This machine really basically bends the tip of the jaw so it can close together. After they're bent, the pliers get sanded. With the pliers finished, all of the components are complete and the tool is ready for assembly. So this is the building pin which we build our products on. So what I do is I put on the, the screwdriver first to put it in this flat head screwdriver and then we have a locking washer which goes on top. The process continues with the rest of the components. And then it all fits into the handle, put the bolster on, 
keep everything in there snug, and we put the pin through. The pin is glued, and then another bolster or support is screwed on top. Next, the jaws of the pliers are added. And the handle and the jaw put together. And then the last thing I'm going to do is run this in the machine. A machine tightens the pin holding the jaws. Once the jaws are tightened, the two handles will be assembled with all the individual items inserted into each side. So this is the final assembly process. In Leatherman code, they're called handle one and handle seven. And handle seven gets inserted on top of handle one. It's just one of the final checks we do. Tension is checked, screws are tightened, and the metal is inspected. We look at every single tool. We open the handle up to check the tension to make sure the quality is perfect. Now this wave is ready to rescue any traveler, worker, or soldier. We've received a couple of really heartfelt stories from soldiers abroad who have been in firefights, and their Leatherman multi-tool has stopped a bullet that would have otherwise killed them. With countless different functions and the quality to last, the legend of Leatherman is just getting started. We always want to have the tool that's recognized as being the best. With the wave, we've definitely achieved that.